I have a child with a Ghanaian man when he was here in South Africa. He once tried that to me, but he didn't succeed. He later traveled abroad and back to Ghana and never returned to South Africa in 2017. Ahead, he passed away in Ghana in a motor accident. Now the boy is grown up. He is 26 years. This boy is troubling me. He wants to know his father people. We are back again, my people. I thank you for joining me on today's video. Hey, welcome all. Thank you so much for keeping all your thoughts, your comments, your likes, your views, basically, for giving me your time. I appreciate you again in this one. But if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lillian, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking biz. I'm going to be talking from the comment section of my videos. So I've been getting comments lately because of the type of videos I've been doing. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of people open up to me, which makes me feel uh, honored, you know, to share information with someone uh, that you don't really know. It takes only a courageous person to do so. So thank you so much for those of you that trust me and you have been sharing your informations with me but this particular one i don't want to i can't ignore it because i live in ghana and have i said you should please subscribe okay please uh do it to hit the subscription button and turn on the bell notification put it on your that says or so that anytime i upload a new video youtube will notify you please don't forget to like this video this particular one i feel like i want to encourage our sister to open up more on this topic because it's important all right i live in ghana and i am almost a ghanaian if i have all the papers um that <laughs> i'm as good as i'm a nigerian okay but i live in ghana and i feel like that ghana is my second home and i have loved it here i've lived here i have enjoyed it here in fact i have met people here in ghana that have turned family they have been there for me and they would do almost anything for me uh anything that concerns ghana is also very is is very close to my heart okay so this particular comment i do not want to ignore it i made a video talking about Mr. johnson and her three biological mothers one person three mamas <laughs> so someone uh commented on that video and i want to read out this comment to encourage her yeah please this is not private conversation okay it's a public comment and you understand what that means when someone leaves a public comment so if she was hiding she wouldn't have done that she would have asked for my private information so she can share so for it to be here it means she's open about it all right so i want to read this to encourage her because there's a tv uh there's a there's a radio because there's a radio station here in ghana at Kumasi that have been helping families to reunite with their loved ones that they have lost contact with be it in ghana or outside of ghana so a lot of foreigners have come into the country to look for people that they have lost contact with and that tv that radio station either has helped them and that radio station have helped them so ahead i've not really had an encounter but i've heard that there's a radio station that works really well with these stories i want to encourage my sister here that dropped this comment to do something to please no don't stop i wrote to her to send me more details if she wants um, to send me more details but i'm yet to hear from her so i feel like let me say this here so that you all can contribute we are this season we are on this paternity issue and all that family reunion okay let us do this all right <laughs> so the comment reads like this amen my dear lily every mother looks after her children and i feel pity for the lady that her husband kicked out of the house not allowing her to take her children with her <clears throat> her story is similar to mine her story is similar to mine i have a child with a Ghanaian man when he was here in south africa he once tried that to me he once tried that to me but he didn't succeed he later traveled abroad and back to Ghana 
and never returned to South Africa in 2017. Ahead, he passed away in Ghana in a motor accident. Now the boy is grown up. He is 26 years. This boy is troubling me. He wants to know his father people. I'm stuck. The family was from Kumasi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well. My head is big. <laughs> okay. Um, did you hear that? Okay. So please, I would like you guys to advise her down there at the comment section. I believe, I want to believe she'll be here to read all of your advice. What do you think she should do in this regard? Um, her ex, who happened to be a Ghanaian, whom she had a boy, her son with, who is now 26 years old, is troubling um, the boy is troubling her that he wants to be reunited with his father family, which is a right thing to do. I beg. You see, West African kids. <laughs> you see, I beg. Just, um, for me, if you ask me, I'll, I'll say she should make an effort. I wrote her back, though, asking her to send more details if she want to follow up. I mean, like, send the full name of your ex-sister, if you're watching this, send in your ex-husband's full name i mean like his name the one the name that is complete name so that way we can go to the fm in Komasi to see if they can help your boy reunite with his family okay please don't keep him away for long i have been through that i know what he's going through all right. In this case, it's not like the father abandoned him. Okay. Death snatched him away. And I believe strongly that before he passed on, he may, he may have told a family or two or a friend about his son. You see, men, they do not, men do not abandon their blood. They may want to act in a certain way when the relationship between them and the boys, the child's mother is not there is no longer there they may want to act all bitter all i don't care and all that but deep down the fact remains that they lives with it so please now that our brother have passed away and our son wants to reunite with his family make it happen it's very easy these days of social media at least someone informed you that he has passed away good you have somebody that knows him or that knows somebody that knows him to the house okay for someone to have informed you that your ex passed away it simply means that um yeah that's it uh you can trace your ex so that the boy can be reunited with his family please do this for the boy do this for your son i know you guys may have have uh you may have had issues you know during the cost of your separation and all that but please you have to find a place in your heart to forgive because uh, it's not even here again to to make things right so you are going to be the biggest one here by just doing everything just do everything right for your son all right so please um reach out to me if you want or reach out to any other Ghanaian um that you can see, be it uh, social media personnel or just someone on social media or someone, anybody or a Ghanaian, your Ghanaian, someone around your neighborhood that is Ghanaian, reach out to them in this regard or I'm, I'm very much available, okay? You see this reunion thing, I'm in for it. Just that, <laughs> some people feel like I wouldn't let the mama experience where other people are involved and they feel like I'm shining, I'm overshining. In fact, I won't let that stop me. So reunion, uh, reuniting families is not a bad thing, especially like this, your son. I'm telling you the family will be happy to have him. So please do this for your son, okay? So if you want to reach out to me, I'm very much available or any other Ghanaian in your neighborhood or anyone you know from Ghana, Okay, do reach out and um, reunite your son with his family. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to leave your advice down there at the comment section. I will see you in my next video. Bye.